application to return empty data, right? and then you can only uh, write your arbitrary files. So you can see here after my union selects, all right, that is my arbitrary data, which is my executable file. So as I already mentioned before, uh, in the union selects, the rec second query requires you to have the same columns at the first query. And to prevent the data corruptions, your arbitrary data should be injected into the first column. The reason of this is because our arbitrary data we compress using a zlib, and the zlib uses the adler32 checksums, and this value is added at the ends of our data. In the RFC, it stated like anything after the Adler 32 checksum will be uh, will be ignored during the compression process. So basically, we can just simply inject uh, any random data into other columns in this sorry from the second column onward. The example here, you can see uh, this is my arbitrary data. I ejected two null bytes after my Adler 32 checksum, and I would have any problem when I decompress back this size, this file back to its original size. And here's a, some simple technique how you can bypass a web application firewalls, IDS, and antivirus. So basically, when you upload your Metasploit shellcode, you can just simply use a Metasploit shellcode encoder uh, to bypass uh, some of these security mechanisms. And then uh, Base64 encoder uh, can be used to encode your PHP script so it can prevent from uh, being detected as a PHP script injection by some of the web application firewalls. And then uh, we can use a GZ compress and GZ uncompress. This is a zlib library where you can use to compress your, uh, your codes to make it smaller to bypass the maximum length limit. Okay, so here I'm going to show how we can conduct a remote code executions on the LAMPs on the WAM. So basically on the WAM platform, you will find that uh, there's one limitation. By default, directory created in Linux is not writable. But in some cases, you will find the application that required this directory to be writable. Uh, a good example is this, the application that allowed you to upload user contents. So if you can find this directory, you can simply upload your file and then... Uh, Another issue is uh, a file that been uh, uploaded using into down file is not executable by default. So to change the permission, what can you do? You can use a PHP scripts to read the same file contents and write into another files, and then use PHP system function to uh, change the permission of this file. And now this file will be owned by the uh, web server user and it will be executable. So you can just simply execute your executable code. And remote code execution on the WAM has uh, no limitations, so the less limitation compared to the LAM. This is because MySQL on Windows run as a local system. So basically, you are allowed to write anywhere you want in the web server directory. Uh, so the file also has been uh, created, absolutely will be executable. Uh, and you can still use the same method that you use to execute this uh, code by using a PHP system function. Okay, so... Now I'm going to explain about MySQLot. So MySQLot is a tool that I wrote to demonstrate how you can perform your remote code executions on the LAM on the web platform. It can be integrated with Metasploit, so you can use it to upload a Metasploit shellcode and execute it. So here are some modules of the MySQLot. So the first one is SQL injection detection, and basically you, to test your SQL, in, in, SQL injection, and then you have a fingerprint directory module to fingerprint your web server directory, fingerprint operating system to fingerprint what type of operating system it is. And then the payload, uh, and then the next one is uh, the payload is used to create your shellcode, and basically it will be integrated with a Metasploit. And then the last one is uh, exploit module where you can upload your shellcode and exploit it. So now I'm going to show to you how we can use MySQLot to conduct remote code executions. But the only problem here, I have only one hand, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. Hello? Okay, it works now.
So let's test the test, uh, test module. So basically, uh, it uses, uh, 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 call it a uh, timing attack, which is known as a deep blind injection method to test if the SQL injection variable exists, and also is uh, to test whether how many columns is required. So if you can see here, uh, the timing attack is successfully be executed, and uh, it's required only one column. And then the fingerprint, the operating system, basically it's just used to fingerprints uh, to find out whether your database server is running on Linux or Windows. So you can see here, it's run on Linux, so you know it's a LAM environment. And then the third one is a fingerprint directory, so basically it uses two different methods, like I mentioned before. The first one uh, is a load file method where it will try to load a default file or a, uh, of Apache configuration file. So if this does not work, it will use the second method by trying to inject a bogus data as part of the SQL statement. So the PHP will respond as some uh, sensitive information. So you can see here the first method is successfully being used here. And you can find here this is where our web server directory is located. So we can copy these information as we require to use it in the future. And then now, we're going to create a payload. So basically, uh, examples is I want to create a Metaploit shellcodes uh, that bind into the port 9999. I can just simply uh, use this argument. And now you can see the MySploit try to integrate with the Metasploit and trying to create a shellcode for this operating system. Okay, so now we successfully create our shellcode. So if we go to the exploit module, so you will find that you are need to put uh, some extra argument here. So as we know, our shellcode is bind into port 9999, so we can just simply uh, copy this value. And then the working directory, as we had this information before through the fingerprint uh, modules, and then the upload directory. So writable directory is required on Linux, like I mentioned. It's different on Windows, you do require this value. So, as example, you find out that the, uh, this is one of the uh, writable directory that I can use. I can just simply uh, as a, exploit it. And you will, what you will see after this is some bunch of the compressed arbitrary data being uploaded. And then this data will be decompressed back to its original size. And then the PHP is used to uh, read the file contents right into another file and then change the permission of the file before it successfully executes the shellcode. And now you can see the meta framework is trying to connect into port 9999. 